Hi guys, Jade Morris here. I'm with UFC featherweight Arnold Almighty Allen. Arnold, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. So, February 27th, we've got the UFC coming to London. How does it feel to be on this card? Uh, it's a dream come true to fight on the UFC London card. Like, it was the first UFC I watched at the O2, so it's, uh, it's nice to be, to be fighting on that card finally. Now, you face an American fighter, uh, Yaotsi Meza. He's a very experienced opponent. He's got six fights uh, in the UFC already. How does it feel to have a matchup like this? Uh, it's good because he's, you know, he's had those six fights in the UFC, so it's not his debut or something. And he's uh, fought a lot, so it's nice to be taking on a, an experienced guy as well. Now, you're, um, you're at TriStar for your fight camp. Can you tell us a bit about that and why you chose that fight camp? Yeah, there's, there's just uh, there's a lot of like talented guys here. You know, there's there's a huge stable of fighters. Like there's proven fighters, obviously George Saint Pierre, like Warren Donald, those sort of guys. But you know, the lighter guys, a lot of top lightweights, and a lot of upcoming people as well. And uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're, like really good people coming through the ranks. So it's it's a it's an obvious place to be. And are you going to stay there for your whole fight camp? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, um, obviously, you'll have had a chance to look at your opponent by now. Is have you noticed anything where you think, right, that's uh, that's my strength or his weakness? Yeah, well, he's got a lot of tattoos, so I might <laughs> just avoid avoid that sort of area of the fight. But yeah, yeah, I, I think I think as long as I don't avoid that, I'm good. Great. Now, obviously, a lot of us Brits, as you know, we like our cups of tea. Uh, yeah. You very famously you had your cup of tea, uh, UFC <laughs> fight night, Berlin, when I interviewed you there. Um, what's what's it like um, being over there? Like, Have you taken some PG tips with you? or are you just no, getting used? I like the PG tips, but I've had to buy some Thai food. And it's not quite yeah. as good, but I'm making do with it. Making do for now. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Not as good as the British tea, no. No, it's not. They just, they're not <laughs> on the same level. They don't understand. <laughs> Now, uh, mm. let's get back to your fight. So you had an impressive debut in the UFC. Obviously, we saw your uh, UFC fight night in Berlin. Uh, mm. You had an impressive victory over Alan Omar uh, with a guillotine. Uh, one performance of the night, if I'm mm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we expect to see another exciting fight from you? Yeah, I, uh, I think pretty much, well, I've only had a couple of fights that I think have been pretty shit. So <laughs> I think for the most part, I like, 90% of the time it's going to be an exciting fight and we are entertainers so yeah it is going to be a good fight as always and, and uh, we'll be looking for the finish and you're looking for the finish always so are, you, are you going to predict first round second round nah, I'm not one for predictions I just say uh, I'm going to predict the win that's it fantastic now is there anything you want to say to your UK fight fans ahead of uh, UFC London um yeah, stop hating on the card. It's good. Jesus. Christ. Yeah. Although it does mean we have Anderson Silva versus uh, Michael Bisping, which everyone's very yeah. excited about. I've seen everyone change their opinion now they put that fight on it, but it's, there's a lot of like top quality fighters. We're in a position in the UK where, where the top level is changing, you know? like Those people like Bisping and, and Pierce, they've been around for years, so it's in the changing of guard. It's, it's, there's new people coming through. And you've got to get behind them. Fantastic. Well, you heard it here. Thank you so much for taking the time out in your fight camp to speak to us. And we look forward to seeing you at UFC London. No, thank you.